I count up, I count down, and I'm jumping around on a chart or line. Equal groups every time. Used to count just by ones, but I'm thinking that's kind of slow. Skip counting. So I thought of the numbers that come easily. Be a two or a five or a ten or a three. And I figured I'd try to count them just to see. Skip counting. So start with twos and count up to twenty two, four, six, eight, ten, count everybody twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, and twenty, skip counting. Now go by fives and cover some more space of five or zero will fall in the one space five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, skip counting. I can start anywhere, any number is fine, just as long as I count equal groups every time. It's a pretty great way to learn how to multiply. Skip counting. If there's two groups of four, count by twos or by fours till you reach the amount that you've been counting toward. I'll begin with my two and count four times up to eight. Skip counting. It's time for tens, let's count them together. Twenty, thirty, forty, it goes on forever. Fifty, sixty, seventy, and eighty. Skip counting. Now count your threes, increase each time. Three, six, nine, twelve, your two, and just find fifteen. Eighteen, twenty, one, twenty, four, skip counting. Skip counting. When I count by a number, I'm finding multiples. When facing a problem, decide on a number, then count it as many times as the other you can choose. The order you want. Skip counting. Your hundreds chart number line or a table can help you count when you feel you're not able. These tools can be used anytime. Skip counting. So focus in on the numbers. You're strong with they'll help you with the one. Join us strong in twos, fives, and tens. Facts, see your friends. Anchor facts and skip counting.